Well, hey folks, it's Greg from the Fish Jam Lab channel. You want to know a few ways to identify a cottonmouth snake without having to look at it dead in the eye? Well, check out this video to see how you can identify this venomous snake from a safe distance. And hey, if you like these sorts of videos, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it. Well, you know, one way to identify a cottonmouth snake is to look directly into its eyes and determine whether the pupil is vertical and cat-like or round like a marble. Oh, well, okay, well, that's fine and dandy, but I have no interest in getting that close to a potentially venomous snake when I'm that far from medical attention. So how can you tell if a snake is a cottonmouth without actually getting in its face? Let's look at a few signature features on this Pensacola Beach cottonmouth that we stumbled upon one day. All right. So the first thing that we can see here is the triangular shape of the head. That head shape allows plenty of room in those jowls to accommodate the venom sacs. The second thing we're going to look at here is something that's actually a behavioral trait of theirs that they call gaping. When threatened, cotton mouths will open their mouths all the way up to expose that white interior. Another couple of things to notice here are the body shape and the coloration. Their bodies are very thick and heavy in contrast with their very thin tails. Also, coloration ranges from lots and lots of banding on the dorsal side when they're younger to almost no pattern at all in most mature adults. This one in particular is about midway between those two color extremes. And here's another distinctive feature. Check out this dark band that extends back from the eye with a thin, lighter colored border on it. All right, now let's look at one more behavioral trait here. Look at how much this snake shakes its tail. Even though it doesn't have any rattles, it can still get your attention not only visually, but also by causing a rustling sound on the ground. All right, well, there you go. A few little clues that you're looking at a cottonmouth without actually having to go eye to eye with it.